Hello everybody, today is Joe Mega, and I'm going to show you how you guys to basically set up DX to the point where it will compress and cause you no know, lag, lag for your um, recordings. First thing you're going to need is go to Google. It's going to be lag, okay, lag, or this, lost, 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 less codec. You go here. You see this right here? Whatever that is, you get this, the installer. You don't want to get this one because this one's uh, manually installed. You want to get this one because it'll install automatically. If you look here, I got a bunch of codecs. You won't usually get all these. You usually get the, this one and possibly these, but not these ones. These, possibly, and obviously this one. Now, I'm just going to go here so you see the default. I'm just going to start from here and move my way this way. Here, there's nothing to do here. Here, this is where your uh, FPS meter will be to show how much FPS you got. Um, I like to keep these here because it will show me uh, how, what FPS I'm playing at and this will tell me what my file is recording at. Uh, this will tell me if this will allow it to pop up in the corner. I put mine in the top left or here, it depends what game I'm playing. Arma 2, I put it over here. Um, Counter-Strike, I put it over here. A bunch of other games, I just put it right there. Um, here, um, it's very self-explanatory. I have multiple hard drives, but uh, the other hard drives I use for different things. I don't usually use the x I use uh, my capture card that is uh, uh, outside of my computer, obviously. And um, this is just one of them. And basically, all you have to do is press this. At first, actually, I forgot about this. You go here, and you select where you want it to record to. If you only have one hard drive, which I suggest you to at least have two, so you can record on. You pick User whatever file your you want it to record on. Sound muted. And after you do that, you go ahead and uh, pick it, and it will start recording to that after you select your hotkeys and stuff, which I'll show you in a second. Hey, wake but up! If you go in there, I'll show you all these other things like uh, hard drives and all that such. Right now I got this one selected. This one is slow, but that's because I um, was doing something at the same time as that. Oh, I'm gonna benchmark it after after I do this video, possibly. As you can see, I have my push talk done, because it's easier to do whenever it's cutscenes, and I uh, sometimes uh, am sick, and I cough once in a while, and it will go through the video, and it's very bad, and I don't like it. My start and stop movie capture is F9, which most people put it to for fraps and all these other things. And uh, that's basically it for this. I don't usually use screenshots, but I do have, uh, uh, just to show you, I'm just going to set, uh, which one is it? This one. I'm just going to set it to, hmm, I'm not going to set that uh, actually. I'm just gonna do this. You press the hotkey. That's it. Now this is where this really matters. I have it here, this here, because uh, if you put it on 30, it'll go up to 31, 32, 33. Put it here, and we'll go over 30. It'll stay exactly at 30. As you can see, I have this here. I have this here because I was testing different certain things. I was testing each quality and different things to see which one gave me best performance and uh, gave me quality in return. But uh, Lagerith gives me the best everything. Now, assuming that you have this installed, you go here, and you out of these selections, you automatically put uh, this one. You want to go to YV12. Turn that off, or you can either put them on but uh, or off, but I suggest turning them off. Multi-threading is more than one uh, processor. Here is another part. Um, if you look here, you I have it set to here because it gives me more FPS and I don't see the difference between these two. Um, basically, if you look in here, I use my digital output because it has better quality than the regular speakers. And after I set that, I go here, I have this. Uh, you can basically do what I do, put your microphone and your digital output or your speakers. It doesn't technically matter, but I find I like this better. And I have that set to that. Screenshots don't matter. This uh, 
have it set to two, but I have four. Um, with these are processing threads, meaning how many cores I'm running it on. Half of my cores, not all. Um, you don't want that unless you are just recording, like, unless you want to edit a bunch of other stuff out, because that starts as soon as the game is detected. You don't want that. This I haven't tried yet, but basically, uh, from my uh, understanding, it basically does uh, something very simple. If it doesn't recognize the game anymore, it will automatically stop the recording and uh, salvage whatever is left. This I suggest not using, unless you don't have a good graphics card and you have a way better CPU, then put that on, because that will help you with your FPS if you have a better CPU than your graphics card. But for gaming computers, usually you would have a better GPU than a CPU. Um, you don't want any. Uh, you don't really want any of this. Uh, you don't really want that unless you have uh, crazy like frames sprawling across your screen, because that does happen in older games. But I really don't play older games, so I don't really see. This is just that this, if you see at the top, you see it changes, stuff like that. Basically, that is it, really. Um, that is basically how you set up DX Story. But, uh, oh, I forgot to show you this. This is, if you're recording in 30 frames per second, do not use this. This basically, you, turn, you press this off, it doesn't show your cursor. You put this back on, it shows your cursor. This is 100% meaning, meaning 100% of my screen, uh, basically 100% of uh, uh, the resolution. Uh, sometimes we record with this, which is 720. Uh, this is... Uh, I find when I downscale it gives me less FPS in my experience, but I, so I just put it 100%, which is my whole resolution. And then I got the size here, but I keep it at percent. So it depends on what you want or what you prefer. So that's basically it for what this is, but uh, one thing I should cover before I do this, you want AVI and not raw cap. Raw cap is no no. And this is your live streaming, which uh, this also right here, this is live streaming. But you don't really want to touch those unless you're just recording. I'll, put, I'll touch base with that if you guys want another video for that, and I will show it. If you're wondering why my uh, taskbar and all these other things are like this, it's because of, uh, it increases FPS in my opinion, or not FPS, uh, performance on computers. And I really don't care about looks. In games, I don't care about looks. I like performance way better than looks, and performance matters more to me than looks. Anyways, that is it for today. See you guys next time.